Hello friends, my name is Damir, I am from Serbia and I am 25 years old. This is going to be my first ever gameplay with the commentary. Uh, I am really shy and I avoided doing commentaries because I like to sit in the dark room uh, with the music on and just play games as they should be played. But the reason, the reason YouTube policies uh, force me to commentate because my subscriber pool is not enough for me to earn any cash. Uh, when I started YouTubing and uploading videos, uh, it wasn't about the cash. I, I have been gaming since I was five years old and it was about gaming, nothing else, nothing more. And uh, I started uploading videos because I wanted to have something to remember all the time spent. And I, when I'm old, I want to see what I did when. Some people like to post pictures. Some people like to be big on social media. I would just love to have, like, when I'm an uh, old man, I would like to have something to remember myself by when I'm older. So, a little bit of passion and a little bit of monetary facts are driving me to do this. Uh, this is my first time ever commentating, so if I make any mistakes, don't be harsh on me. I'm gonna try to speak slowly so you understand my English. It's not my main language, as you can see by the uh, you can hear by the accent. And that's that. Let's try it. Uh, for nine parchments, uh, I have been playing the game for about ten hours. I had five hours of recording, and at some point. I realized that the quality of my gaming is not on point and I am dying a lot. I, I am going to play the game on the hardest possible difficulty because that's the only way to do it. That's the fun way. Uh, and I am gonna die a lot even if I have the experience and I know what to do when. I'm still gonna die a lot and I'm not gonna edit anything from that, not gonna cut off the dying scenes because I want you to get the, the general feeling of how hard this game it is. Well, it's hard to me, you will see. So I'm gonna go and start it up, we're gonna play on hard, hardcore. Now it's available, when I started it wasn't, but I'm gonna stick to the hard, because hardcore, I don't see it happening, because I'm gonna die, and I don't want to do everything over again. So hard, it's really challenging, so there's no need to go like Super Saiyan Terminator Gamer on it, I will just lose my brains and get mad and probably the chairs will be thrown and keyboards will be broken. So let's stick to the hard difficulty and see where we go. We'll find the parchments together. So I put Cornelius as you see he's level 30 and I'm gonna switch it up because this won't be fair. I don't know how the the creeps or the mobs or the monsters in this game uh, are leveling. Do they follow my level or stay at the level they are? But because we are gonna play the game over again. I don't want to have that advantage and one shot everything. So, hi there. Uh, we're gonna Good pick something. Senior else student here. Generally, that I didn't play, and it's gonna be the new experience all over again. Greetings. So let's see. Greetings. What does this Gislan of Alkayon have? I don't know if I pronounce this. Good, well, let's see. So she has the region, right? Small life magic circle is summoned by the caster for a short time. I'm familiar with this skill and it's a really good utility skill. Got me a lot of a lot uh, got me out of a lot of sticky situations. 
burst of lightning got in its wake stunning them in place okay okay I like it a little bit stun lock beam of that wow that's a lot of face damage okay let's see the senior student here so when you start the game you only have her greetings and him we'll find the parchments together uh, the rest are the guys I unlocked with the first playthrough, which I scratched because you know I died a lot and it wasn't pleasant to watch. Senior student Let's here. So a short range blast deals fire damage, nice damage, three charges. So okay. Uh, this one I'm familiar with. It's it's a good utility skills because it slows and freezes the target, but it is not useful when you are getting overwhelmed by the creeps. So it's useful, but not really. A huge fireball explodes on a hit, dealing damage to all caught in the blast radius. Two charges and three charges. So this guy is big on fire and ice. And let's see. Greetings! The, the Elemental Bringer. Fire Barrage. Okay, so this is the Rapid Fire. And this is probably good, even th with the little base fire. And reminds me of the, the ice charges that the previous character had. Only it's fire. A trouble ring of projectiles. Spiral. Outwards and inwards, dealing lightning damage. Two charges. Okay, so this is the uh, AOA skill. M okay, nothing special about it. Damage over time. Okay, throw a flaming rock that sets the target on fire. Okay, so uh, I'm gonna senior try student him. here. A little bit of DPS. I hope I unlock heal that this girl Greetings. has. Greetings. Because heal, I don't see myself completing the game without the heal. So senior let's student play here, Maverick the Torrid. Let's try him out. So these are the things I unlocked on the first playthrough. I'm gonna keep it simple and not gonna. Well, th these are just uh, like how you look, so they do not change the power levels levels of my champion. So I guess uh, let's do this. It looks nice. Fits in with uh, the with his outfit. And for the brooms, I'm not gonna select any brooms because that would be really unfair. So let's just start it like this, and we are off. So we have a few levels and you see these scrolls, the scrolls are the boss fights. And Once it. again, our story began at the Astral Academy, where young wizards from all over the world gathered to learn magic. Students at the Academy were learning their basic spells under the guidance of the great wizards. They were to completely master their old spells before earning new ones for their spell books. It was time for yet another spell test. You have one last chance per level when everybody's dead and one student is random, random, randomly resurrected. Sorry about the stutter. Let's see. Upside, el opposite element of spells are vulnerable to each other, fire and ice. Life and death, lightning and steam. Okay, I haven't come across steam, so I'm hoping I will be able to. In the game, you can respend your characters and spend points here. At the point, you can open your skill tree here with E. Oh, cool. Oh, I didn't know this thing, and this will come in a handy because at the first run, I missed a lot. And at one point, I was like, Okay, man, it would be nice if I could uh, respect my character because I'm dealing a lot and other types of damage would come in handy here. 
and I didn't know how to respect, so this is good, now we know it. These little thingies are the collectibles pro level and you will see me exploring the level a lot to find them. So yeah, let's pick it up. It's not gonna show because I picked it up in the first walkthrough, I'm sorry about that. But I'm still gonna try and pick up, pick them up while I'm playing this one because they recharge my blink fully when I pick them up. So broom is escaping from me. Let's let's use a little bit of blink action to pick it up so we have a broom. Let's see. Blink is a powerful ability. Blink with shift and catch the broom we did let's see this each academy student has their own range of emotion express your true feelings with okay feeling appreciative senile no 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 grumpy protective ah, protective is nice let's help our friends highly dramatized mural of academy headmaster okay he's the boss here Clicking menu with that to change your hat and, and stuff. So at the moment, these are my hats and these are my staffs. I currently have Nymph's Enchanted Broom. So what does it give me? 20% chance plus 15 steam melee damage minus 20 damage taken after blinking for 4 seconds. Okay. Part of your wizard, wizard exam. If you only had not slept through the lesson, you might have an idea what to do. Well, it's pretty obvious what you need to do. This won't be good. Oh, it has a little bit of AOA to it. Okay. Uh, this this will, will be perfect for things like that. Open boxes and crates, but they generally give you more. I opened tons of them and realized it's just a waste of time, so I won't open any of them. Basically, you can only get things from from collecting parchments. Uh, you can get rooms from killing enemies, and you can get hats and rooms from chests. And those are the things I'm going to be focusing on. You can rearrange your spell wheel with left and right or via the mouse scroll, uh, button. Unlock new characters by found, finding their stuff and completing their unlock quest. So each character has. Uh, uh, each character has a set amount of things you have to do before you unlock them. For example, you have to collect his hat, his broom, and uh, complete the level without dying, or something like that. All spells have their own mana and parent. Do not give you anything, only the, the like how the way you look, and they are a part of unlockment process for the new characters. You can fight with your bare hands or staff. Yeah, so now we have a staff, and we can hit them in the face. Okay, let's go. Did we complete the test? You are all disqualified for advanced studies until further notice. Now, you must stay here and practice. For how long? Forever, if you must. You will practice until your magic is safe. Until I'm convinced you're not all walking magical hazards, just waiting to explode. That's probably nothing. So the Astral Academy's mystical spell parchments were scattered into the faraway corners of the world. In all this chaos, however, 
the clever young students saw an opportunity for some illicit hands-on studying. All they had to do was to go out and collect spells until they had all their nine parchments. So this is the tutorial completed. Well, let's go to the next level. As you see, those little circle thingies, those are the three levels, and the scroll things are the boss fights. And here we go. The adventure begins. So this this seems first. like a good place to start. The sooner I find the eleven parchments, the better. Or was it nine parchments? My memory is not what it used to be. So these are I see you, so I have to hit them with fire and that will damage them. Okay. Hmm. Hmm. I will do enemies have a shield around them, the color represents their immunity. So if it's blue, it's ice, if it's, fi uh, if it's red, it's fire, and etc, etc. You will get the feel for it. There are also double immunity enemies, and I have played the game longer than that to face, I don't know, triple or more immunity en enemies. So let's lay it down and see what awaits us. Okay, so we have a fire in here. Let's do them. Slap him in the face. Please. Okay, these are not new. While you're casting the skill, you can evade. That's a, a nice addition for evading tons of damage. Or you can just move by ship. I'm constantly getting the feeling that I'm missing a lot of parchments. And it's a really bad feeling. Because I'm on a completion. I know I'm gonna miss something. Okay, I'll just start to out. I know I'm gonna miss something that you hear in there. And I know you're gonna see it. And you're gonna scream at your screen now. Oh, and you missed that and this. I know, but there are a lot of things to look out in this game for. So it wouldn't be too harsh on me. So we gained a level. Let's see our skill build. So this is locked, and we have. Let's see what we need to do to unlock. This skill tree will be unlocked once you have acquired the Searing Senior. Find Maverick the Tor Torrid and get three achievements. Kill five enemies with ten seconds with the Fire Beam spell. Major in fire. Possess four different fire spells in your spell book. Okay, so I think I can do this. Kill five, kill five enemies within 10 seconds with the fire beam. Just uh, so at the next fight, I'm just gonna spam fire spells, but I will do it eventually because hordes will start coming at me. Let's see the spells. So we have 5% maximum HP. This is really nice. 8% fire resistant. Now this is even better because I am damaging myself with my fire spells and they do not have a big range so I will be looking out for this one. Let's see, 2% two, two, two spell power and 3% area spell power. 
Okay, so... Let's do 2% spell power, because this is reflecting on every single skill. This cannot be bad. And if I get into a stick situation, stick situation, I will definitely rank up with the, the HP. Okay, so we got it. Fire and this jumper is really annoying. So I'm gonna check him first, because he's gonna be jumping around and just... Guys <laughs> are guys are very easy to do. Okay, let's keep going. Okay, there is a chest. We just can we give you experience or a new item? These guys are firing me. I'm gonna take out this guy because he has been stabbed. And then to a problem if I'm dodging this dude. Okay. Oh yeah. They are firing you. Are they? They should be. Yeah, they are. So I can one spell to damage we will have to rank up other elementals really soon, as soon as I get the chance. Because if I get icy and fire enemy, I won't be able to damage him. And that will be the, the end point for this game. So, okay, we have a fire on here. Section out the fights. Right, okay, this guy is a pain in the ass. Like upgrading him is really hard, especially when. Oh man, this is going to be a pain. It's, it's really hard to break him, but this is just one jumping guy. You will see what I'm doing. Use the bombs of them. That is going to be a pain because they do not jump in the same direction and they are gonna damage me. It's really hard to avoid them. Okay, can I go back? No, I can't. So if I miss something, I missed. Okay, left to right, check everything. Don't miss anything. Take this. Checkpoint. So we just mark uh, the next fight. When you cross the bridge, be prepared. The fight is gonna commence. Okay, fire in fire. Okay. Oh man. I have to be careful not to damage myself because I do not have a weight. Oh yeah, this is a problem. I do not have a way to heal still. I don't have a way to heal myself. And every damage that I take is gonna make a fight harder for me. So I have to The of this area has a drawing of a skull on it. It can't be good. Other. Yeah. Please, 
then disappear. Chance. It's up to me to fix this. Okay, let's be a little bit smarter this time. one we obtained and I like this one because after blinking we get all a huge crit boost and later on w when we increased our crit rating by you just leveling up uh, the character here this is gonna come in handy and 3% chance passively to crit so I'm gonna use the obtained staff So, I think you remember, the scroll enemies, they are granting immunities and making all, all the fight a lot harder. So, put this on them as much as possible, to make the fight shorter and easier. Okay. They are gonna spawn. Okay, the ice enemies. Good. Fire. Okay, ice. Let's use the blink and boom. Come down. down and we have that nice little quick there. Did we miss a parchment? No, we didn't. And here is one parchment too. They are light green because I already collected this one in my first playthrough. But the ones that I missed are gonna be blue. 
so I hope I'm going to find every single one that I missed. But I'm telling you right now, I really focused that time. And I wasn't doing the commentary. So I don't know how I missed it. because I have two skill points I'm gonna put them as skill power since my skills are really hard to me but I don't have enough mana to cast, cast them consecutively I'm noticing that fights are driving wrong so I am gonna level all the spell power so they do more damage so I missed two chests I died once that's bad that's bad. I really didn't see those chests, man. Okay, let's go. I like long walks on the beach. You saw I had put from five parchments. So I only need to go at one here. Okay, got it. These are scorpion thingies. They explode. They are like suiciders and they explode when they get close to you or when they receive damage. So if you really want to damage them before they reach you. Okay, I see you in it. Man, this spell is good, but it takes decades to do that. Now, Bowie comes to the rescue. Oh, yeah, spell power all the way. We need, we don't need survival at the end. So, yeah, let's, let's keep on that damage ramping up and going. And he... Oh man, he's nice. Oh man. Oh, that was a close one. I nearly blew it. And there is a parchment I have already collected. Let's go and stick it. Up to me to fix this. Yeah, I missed like, the double blink. 
I wanted to leave them out so they self destruct, but they had fire immunity and my spells are fire, so I could not kill them. I really need a third element. Okay, he's immune again. Okay, I simulate you. That's our first step. So yeah, having two elements is really bad on the start because I cannot defend myself and my ice element is really low. For the moments when they are feeling like this. The tropical cliff sides housed some very interesting bridge contraptions. Oh, oh man, what happened there? Ah, uh, here they come. My arch nemesis. moment so we have ice immunities damage and fire no more immunities okay don't kill them up they're dead this was a close one no parkings here clear maybe oh this was well hidden a chest and a parking and this is why I missed it the first time and fire yeah the cup the completionist in me is like, yeah! <laughs> feels good, man, feels good. No wonder I missed it the first time. Don't even know I can go there. I need the four elements so bad. Uh, this is the end, too. Cool. And this, there is one more part in here. Oh, I couldn't be behind those palm trees. I probably missed some. Okay, let's level up the spell power and see what we unlocked. 2% damage resistance. Oh, critical hits. We want this. We want them, definitely. So we missed out on one chest and we died two times. Not bad, not bad. Okay, so this is the place we're gonna have our first boss fight. One of the elusive parchments was surely near now. But little did anyone know what was lurking ahead. And there's the breathtaking power power. seaside vista was not the only thing to give pause to anyone admiring the horizon. A beast of some terrifying sort had also taken a liking to the missing parchment. So, about the boss fights. Like any platformer, you have to learn 
patterns that boss is using to fight through the attacks and the, the placement of his attacks and you're good. And this will be the case with this. level up quickly so crit damage and that goes to ignite fire spell set target fire or delete 10 fire damage over 10 seconds max 50 okay I don't want to base on fire but this character seems to be all about fire and okay I don't I cannot see this spell tree. Okay, well, let's see this one. I think this should be the time I will rank up this spell because I can also have the 5% HP. I can't hand in this boss fight, which was really close, closer than I would love to be, but hey, we didn't die. Nothing special here, let's move out. I couldn't have done this without you. So we had one dead, all chest found. Cool, cool. We had a 
playthrough of this boss fight and we didn't die so I'm gonna wrap it out wrap it up with this boss fight and if you like what you saw please subscribe and just leave a comment and yeah uh, hope you, I see you on the next part bye bye